It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. This is your weekly market update with Ryan Payne filling in for Bob this week. We had yet another week of market highs on the street of dreams as this bull market continues to inch higher and higher week after week. On Friday, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the U.S. created 261,000 jobs in October, although the expectation was 310,000. Unemployment in the U.S. is now at the super low rate of 4.1%, the lowest since the year 2000, almost 20 years. There was a lot of big news out of Washington this week with President Trump nominating Jerome Powell to replace Janet Yellen as the head of the Federal Reserve, perceived as a Wall Street-friendly move, with Powell expected to follow current policy of raising short-term rates and slowly unwinding quantitative easing. The GOP also unveiled their Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, proposing to lower the corporate tax rate to 20%, gave big multinational companies a one-time tax rate of 12% on the cash that's repatriated from overseas. Tech giants like Apple, Microsoft, Cisco, Oracle combined have nearly $500 billion in cash and cash equivalents held overseas, according to the most recent regulatory filings. The bill aims also trim down income tax brackets to four from seven, the top rate being 39.6%. The GOP is also proposing a cap on mortgage deductions, the elimination of state and local tax deductions, a repeal of the AMT and estate tax, a repeal on deductions, a repeal on the deduction of alimony, student loan interest, and tax preparation. But keep in mind, every line in the tax code has a constituency. And they vote, and they're already campaigning to protect those deductions. 